The whip definitely was no joke. I just broke my freaking clavicle or something. All right, Jay, how long is it to the hospital? 15 minutes. It's the morning after my hospital sleepover. I got my breakfast. I'm gonna tell you the damage inventory. Just got a text from Eddie. He let me know that uh, he's got a couple broken ribs. I have a broken clavicle or collarbone. Broken scapula. And my uh, right shoulder was dislocated. It was just a pretty painful night sleeping, but um, otherwise feel okay. Pretty big impact there. Hopefully he heals up quick. So it's been about a week since my accident, and I was thinking to myself, Others might want to know, how long is it going to take for me to recover from an injury like Eddie's and get back to full riding speed again and do the thing that I love and be passionate about? Um, so I'm going to share with you some things and you can use that as a benchmark to decide how fast you're going to recover from a similar injury. My clavicle is very displaced. It is also pushing up and it is tenting on the skin. And so it's at, it's at risk for puncturing my skin there but also it is splintered and fractured in a way that it's not going to heal very well on its own. A lot of times they don't go in and they fix a broken collarbone. In my case, my orthopedic surgeon suggests that we go in and we reconnect my collarbone and then add a plate to it and that'll add stability to the whole region and that'll also allow the scapula to heal a little bit better since those cracks and fractures are flexing and that's, that's not fun at all. They have told me that it'll take two to three months in order for me to recover after the surgery happens and the surgery happens tomorrow morning. So I'm looking forward to sharing the journey with you and what that recovery is like so that you can use that to your advantage. Let's see how this goes. Well, it's been three weeks since my initial injury and now two weeks since my surgery. They did what's called an open reduction and in internal fixation. It's where they made an eight inch incision. They put three pins in in order to hold the bone in place. And then they put a plate on top of the collarbone and they're holding that plate in place with six other pins. The first couple of days after surgery were a little bit rough, but then I could feel myself getting stronger every day since then. The first week I didn't do too much in the form of exercise. The second week I started walking at least a mile a day around my yard here. While I was convalescing, I reduced my calorie intake to uh, 2,000 calories a day because I did not want to gain any weight during that period. And so over the past three weeks, I've went from 207 pounds to 204. I know I lost some muscle in there though, so I'm eager to get back onto doing something to get that muscle mass back. I have to keep my sling on for another week though because I have scapula fractures and they want to keep my um, shoulder a little bit immobile in order to allow the scapula to heal a little bit longer before I take this sling off. I have pretty good mobility of the shoulder joint about um, two weeks after the surgery. I can move it up about that high before I start feeling pain and to the front I can move it up about that high until I start feeling pain. I start physical therapy in one week and then I'm sure we're going to work on that mobility and strength of that shoulder and at that time since I'll be out of the sling as well I'll start doing some other things for exercise so that I can start preparing to get back into mountain biking shape again. Right now I've been told it's a little bit up to me as to how much that how well that recovery is going to go could take as short as nine or as many as 12 weeks. I know that I have the Jordan Mountain Challenge that I want to do at the end of July. And so I'm hoping that I can get a good bit of recovery done in nine weeks so I can get back out on the bike and get training because I really want to finish it this year. In the bike shop, it's a terrible mess right now because I was thinking of things that I could do, some videos that I could make while my arm's not working right and I can't ride a bicycle. And so I've been ordering some things and they've been showing up, but I can't wait till uh, I can get working on some of these videos for you. I really hope to help people understand how long it will take them to get back into riding shape after they've had an injury similar to mine. So I promise that I'll keep you updated along the way how my progress goes. And uh, that's it for now. Later.